Hey, Ivan the Electrician here. You're probably looking for a way to do a good lighting layout for even light distribution. Well, what if I told you that there's an easy way to do this? And that's exactly what I'm gonna explain to you today. This is a little bit of a trade secret as, as a uh, licensed electrician that I use all the time. So let's say this is a room. And if you did one light fixture, just one, it would make sense to put it in the middle, right? To get the best light distribution you can get. Okay. What if you did four light fixtures? Well, the way I do it is divide the room into four equal sections and put a light fixture in the middle of each of those sections. Don't you think that this is probably the best way to, to do the lighting layout for best light distribution? I think so, so stay tuned and I'll explain. Okay, the first thing we do is we measure the room from here to here. So let's say the room measures uh, 144 inches across from here to here. Let's say it's 144 inches. So 144. What we do is what we want to do, basically what we're doing is we're going to divide this room into two and then we're going to divide it into two more to get to the middle of this section. Basically, we're dividing it by four. So, divided by four equals 36 inches. So, from this wall to here, 36 inches. Same on this side, from here to the light fixture, 36 inches. And we always, we always measure to the middle of the light fixture. So, from here to here, it'll be 72 inches from, from the light fixture to light fixture. But from the wall to here, to the center of this light fixture, 36 inches. Okay, well now we need to measure this way, right? So again, we measure from here to here. Let's say it's 120 inches, 120. And again, we divide that by four and we get 30 inches. So from this wall to the center of this light, 30 inches. From this wall to this light, 30 inches. So, and we do that, we do that same measurement for every can. Um, off the wall from here to here, 30. 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 And then, same this way, from here to here, 36. From here to here, 36. From here to here, 36. And from here to here, 36. And there you go. This is, a, this is how you put a light fixture in the middle of each of these sections. So you're basically taking the room, dividing it into four equal sections, and you put a light fixture in the middle of each of those sections. Basically, that's how you do it for the best light distribution. And in other, in other, in other words, you take the room, you divide it into half, and then divide this, take that half and divide it into half one more time. And that is how you get the, 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 the distance, the measurement. Something to keep in mind is if you have a fan in the middle, if you get a fan in the middle, you want to keep your cans away from the fan. You want there to be a good distance away. That way the fan blades, when they spin, they won't create a strobe effect from those cans. Just a little bonus tip. What if you have a room and you need to do six uh, light fixtures or cans? So same, same thing. So, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna divide the room into six equal sections. Uh, 
Okay, we're going to put a can in the middle of each of those sections. And uh, the, math, the math that we would do is we'd measure from this wall to this wall. Let's say it's 144 inches. And we would divide it by 6. So from the wall to here would have 24 inches. From here to here would have 48 inches. From this wall to this light would have 24. From this light to this light would have 48. So this is the formula that I used whenever I do a lighting layout. It's to me, it simplifies everything and it provides the best lighting distribution that I can possibly get. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked the video. I hope you learned something. So please like it and uh, subscribe if you would. I'd greatly appreciate that. Thank you all and have an awesome day.